Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Dunlop Shrixon SX line. Uh, Dunlop's been very quiet in the racket business for like the last few years, and they've come out with this uh, strong line to compete with, I believe, the Babolat Pure Arrow line. Now, it features, it features a spin boost, which is uniquely engineered grommets, right? So wider grommets for more spin and move, movability, right? Which is kind of what this has, okay? It's got a sonic core, what they call inf, inferni, infini, inferni, whatever. Uh, it's it dampens and it comforts right so Dunlop's always been known for their dampening systems in the handle like a la Isis you know you don't see Isis here no more but uh, there's some kind of dampening thing called sonic core um, plus it's got a power grid string tech power grid string tech okay well they basically copied this and you know how in the Babolats they they took the like these part of the crosses and widened them out because they know that most people hit you know right around slightly higher in the sweet spot, right? Well, they took that technology and did the same thing. So they made these strings on the crosses a little wider, and they call it Power Grid String Tech. Um, but you know, so the 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 features are very very similar. So that's why we're going to be um, comparing these two together. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Dunlop sh powered by Shrixon SX300, which I believe will be the most popular racket of the line. So essentially, this racket is just like that racket right there, the Pure Arrow. All right, they're both 27 inches, 16 by 19. Uh, the weight is right there, almost the same, 11.1 versus 11.3. So that's 320 versus 318 in grams. The balance is identical at 330. The swing weight is just a little different in that this has just a little more swing weight, just a little at 326, 324 with this one. So this one will cut through the air a little faster. Now, the telling tail that makes this these rackets different is that this one actually has a 65 on the stiffness rating scale whereas this one has a 67 so faster through the air plus a little firmer little stiffer little more power not quite as fast but a little softer so if you want to strike the ball a little harder um, yourself and you don't need too much help from from the racket so if you're using this and you say hey that's too much power for me I want to swing through myself a little more well this will be a good alternative right this will be their best racket this will be their best selling racket and that's the regular SX 300 all right give that one a test um, when I played with it I felt like it was true. You definitely need to swing a little more through um, to get the ball to do the same as this racket. So it's going to be a little less power. But if you don't need the power, hey, that's, that's a good, that'll be a good racket for you. It's crisp, um, you get good feel, and that dampening system does work. All right? So give that a test. SX300. All right, next up, SX300 Tor, okay? Same characteristics as this, except just heavier, just like Pure Arrow Tor, okay? So it's essentially Pure Arrow Tor, right? So 11.7 strong, um, 325 on that balance, 336 on the swing weight, Again, a 65 on the stiffness. 
So definitely not going to be as powerful as the Tor version of this. Okay, so if, if this Tor, if you like the weight of this Tor, um, but don't quite need all the power, go for the Dunlop SX300 Tor. This was my favorite racket of the line. Um, you guys know I like weight. So this, this actually has good balance for me. It's got some weight in the head so I can plow through that backhand. Um, and then, you know, I, I love a, a heavy headed um, forehand. I love a, you know, like weighted out here, which is what this actually has. So for those of you uh, who like weight, right, and want a little more plow, uh, this will do that for you. Okay? So, my favorite of the line. Give it a shot if you like them a little heavier. Next one up. I'm actually going to skip the light to later. Um, and go with the team. Well, Pure Arrow team. Or as Dunlop Powered by Shrixon calls it. SX300 LS. Um, this one's Gener this one generates spin. That's why they call it that light spin. But they actually don't take away strings from this. Like usually on a Wilson line, they would take away a couple crosses so um, they can generate more spin and break strings faster. But um, Dunlop didn't do that. They didn't do that. They lightened up the racket to create more spin in the head. So. Uh, this one actually comes through quickly, and that's what's helping with the spin. Okay, so it's essentially like the Pure Arrow team. So characteristics are pretty much the same. 10.8 uh, strong, which is 306 grams. Three points head light, which is 335 millimeters. The swing weight is 318, so that's pretty light. Um, here's where it changes a bit. Uh, it's a 68 on that stiffness scale, which is right up there with this one. Uh, so these two are essentially interchangeable, I think. Uh, the only thing is this dampens a little more. But hey, if you like this, try this, right? They're like almost one in the same. All right, so that is the SX300 LS, light spin, okay? So the SX300 light is just like pure arrow light, right? Down to the white grips, see that? So white grips tell us that it's the light version, right? Whereas these are black right here. Okay, so 10.2 ounces strung, which is 289 grams, two points head light, so it's getting a little head heavier because uh, the racket's getting um, overall lighter, uh, which is 337 millimeters. The swing weight is 302, which I think is on the lighter side for a light racket. You could probably boost that number a little more. Uh, I would say that's too light. There needs to be more weight in the head in this one. Um, now on the power level, 67, that's about right. That's about right for a light racket like this. I would have preferred to see this racket have a little more weight in the head, just a little. Boost that swing weight up just a little, maybe the 310. Um, for those people who want a light racket with a light head, this would be your racket. Yeah, you know, the head will go through fast, and hopefully when you strike it, right, you get that power. So string this racket looser. String it looser. Let the ra let the strings take the punishment so that you don't get tennis elbow. Um, okay. So if you buy this racket, the SX300 Lite, make sure you string it loose so that the strings can actually absorb. Uh, because there's not a lot of swing weight coming through this racket. All right. And lastly, lastly, they made a SX600. 
So the difference between this racket and these guys is that this is bigger. All right, it's a 105 string pattern. Now, why did they make this racket? To compete with essentially this racket. This is the Pure Drive 107. Right? They didn't, you know, like Pure Arrows don't make a like a 105 version or a 107 version of of a Pure Arrow. Uh, but they, the, you know, Dunlop always had a 105, so it kind of competes with the Pure Drive 107, which is, you know, Babolat's most popular, or probably the only, racket in this size group. Now, the, this, although, is lighter than this. That's why there's a white grip again. See that white grip again? Right? So for those of you who want a little more power on a slightly bigger head, that would be your racket. It's kind of like in the same family as that, right? So 10.2 ounces strong, 280, which is 289 grams, one point head light, which is 343, 343 millimeters. So it's getting head heavier now, right? Because it's so light. The swing weight is 313, which totally makes sense. Definitely where it needs to be. Now, 66 on that stiffness scale. Um, kind of on the lighter side. I would have preferred this to be more like 68. Uh, make it a little stiffer. Make it easier to play with uh, if you're going to make it this light. So, most of these rackets, actually all of these rackets, have a beam of... 23, 26 and a half, right? And then 23 again. So it's a tapered beam. Why, why this point out here? Just like Babolats. Just like Babolats. Uh, this one boosts a 23, 26.5, and 23 again. It's also half inch longer. This 600 is also a half inch longer. And the beam on this is slightly different than the rest of these. Slightly different. It's got a 23, a 26 and a half, and a 23 uh, millimeter beam. So it's a tapered beam, widens out here, which is essentially the same as the arrow line. Um, it has a tapered beam. The rest of this SX300 line uh, is 23, 26, and then 23 again. So extra half a millimeter in this 600. Um, so this is great for that recreational player that wants to play some doubles, a um, little more power that you need, even though it's a 66. I, I, I still think they should have ramped this more in power. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I don't make rackets. I just review them, okay? So, what do I think of this line? I think it's a Dunlop line, and Dunlop lines tend to be this way. They don't make them too powerful. Uh, they usually have great dampening. They're on the slightly flexible side. Um, you know, Shrixon is uh, Japanese, so there is some yonics in there, right? If you think about how they think of rackets, they think of more flexible rackets. They don't make anything too powerful. Um, there's a totally different line for that. Okay, so uh, give, them a sh give them a shot. I think this is one of their best lines uh, that they've made in a long, long time. All right, so that's Dunlop SX line. Check them out. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.